Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir and welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. We're on the brink of exposing Pugnasius for his cheating ways in the town or city of Goldport, also known as Wapdrog. Now, he's been cheating for a long time and it's time that we show the citizens of this uh, fair city that he's not who he seems to be. However, he doesn't know that we know that we know how he cheats. So, <laughs> this could be a quite a big surprise for everyone. Um, let's speak to this weird looking person. The preparations are complete. The trial can get underway as soon as you have confirmed that you are ready. Well, shall we begin? It's worth noting that um, the people here, they do everything by chance. So the trial will literally be decided by the roll of a dice to decide whether we're guilty or not for like slandering Pugnasius. However, they fixed it. So we're going to unfix it in our, in our benefit. Maybe it would be better if we just begin the trial so you can see what I mean. Very well, if you would please take your places. Right. So if they press in the side of the die that they want, that's how they cheat. It will land on that side. I hereby convene the trial by fortune of Master Pugnasius, Grand High Roller of Goldpaw. Being the defendant, his eminence will be unable to preside over this hearing. As such, it falls to me to discharge his duties. I hope you will forgive my doubtless clumsy efforts in this most unfamiliar role. Oh right, so because Pugnasius is on trial, he can't oversee it. So it falls to Mandarin. He has beautifully straight hair, Jesus. A trial is underway? Yeah, come on guys. <laughs> Where have you been? And with the Grand High Rider in the dock, no less. What in the world can it happen? Can it have happened? Um, why are you dressed like that, Roland? Because this is court of law. Wait, what was he usually dressed in? Oh, that's his original clothes that he came crashing into this universe in, wasn't it? It's his president clothes. The defendant, Master Pugnasius, Grand High Roller of Goldpaw, bows his head before Lady Luck and submits to her judgment in this matter. <laughs> he stands accused of dereliction of duty, specifically the knowing deception of his people. That's quite the charge. If the prosecution would like to begin by making its case. I intend to prove to this court that Master Pugnasius did knowingly and willingly, with the aid of a network of his most trusted retainers, defraud the very people with whose care he is entrusted. Wow, this is serious business. Further, I will show that he distrib distributed devices among his accomplices, which were used to carry out deception on the grand scale through the manipulation of dice rolls. I do not doubt that you have found evidence of some trifling, what the fuck is that word? Chicancery? Ch ch oh, okay, among lower level officials. But to allege that this administration as a whole is complicit in such behaviour is preposterous. Why are your eyes so wide then, almost in disbelief? I do not, have not, and will never engage in dishonest practices of any kind. And to accuse me of such is to defame my character and call my good name into question. He's full of it. Perhaps you will permit those present to withhold judgment on the matter of your innocence until I have presented my proof? Good shit. You got lawyered there, Pugnacious. So Roland offers up the set of signed instructions as proof. Oh, there we go. Now you've got something to widen your eyes to. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I think you know very well. After all, this document was written by you, was it not? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the prosecution's key exhibit. Written instructions for the assembly of manipulable dice, clearly signed by Master Pigna by Master Pugnacious. Wow, that's some intense blinking there. You know he's serious. Does the accused have anything to say in his defence? No. Uh, uh, only that my prior outburst was merely an expression of shock at the brazenness of this shameless act. I have never seen this document in my life. Got him on the ropes. To stoop to fabrication of evidence is a pitiful tactic indeed. It is a forgery, plain and simple. Why don't we let Lady Luck be the judge of that? By all means. Ah, oh, look, so he's very, he's very happy because he thinks he can turn it in his favour. It seems that both sides are satisfied, are satisfied to entrust judgment on this matter to the Mistress of Fortune. May the die roll stand as the undisputed word of truth. That's such a fucking stupid system. Lady Luck, grant us an even number if this evidence be false. If it be otherwise, let the number be odd. Time to show the people of Goldpaw just how badly they've been misled. Or do you mean whacked them? Okay, so we're not going to use a lofty bogey this time, are we?
Oh. No! Oh, thank fuck. Yes. <laughs> Even the evidence is judged to be false. Oh shit, we wanted odd bollocks. Lady Luck has spoken. Well, I told you, Majesty. Ha. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. This could go on all day. What is happening? The die. Something is wrong with the die. Which brings us to the crux of the prosecution's case. That Master Pugnacious knowingly manipulated Lady Luck. Whoa! No! Yeah, with this remote control thingy. Haha, <laughs> fuck you Pugnacious. He dropped it in plain sight of everyone. He's a fucking idiot. Take him away, boys. Cuff him. But, but this is. By the use of the remote control, the outcome of Lady Luck's die rolls can be readily manipulated. The prosecution was able to visit the place where these devices are manufactured and to procure one for its own purposes, namely the demonstration of this fraud. Master Pugnacious deliberately kept the taxes high and stole Nile's forest from him, and all using this horrible trick. Master Pugnacious. C can this really be true? Cheat! Deceiver! Shame on you! You are the Grand High Roller! Don't you have anything to say for yourself? Whoa! What's going on? All that I did, I did for Wacklog! Oh! Fuck! What's go what is going on? I had to make my nation rich. Richer than any other. It was the only way. The bond with his people is weakening. Soon it will be time. I think this Mandarin is very fishy as well. Maybe he is the, the real big bad. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, it's the Kingmaker. It's the Kingmaker. Long Fang. He doesn't look happy. Oh, Long Fang? Here in the city? But why? Master Pugnacious, huh? your right to rule has been tested and found wanting. My plan is complete. Holy shit! Your king's bond is mine! It's a fucking cobra! You just ripped out that guy's heart. Or his soul. What even is that? Wait! Oh dear god. Beautiful hair though. Okay, you ready to rock and roll guys? Because I think it's going to get pretty intense now. Longfang, Butcher, Baker, Kingmaker. A Baker? Okay. You got any pasties for us? Oh, where are we? Yeah, we're not in Watrog anymore. Flip! It's an interdimensional dimension, isn't it? And if we don't do something, you'll eat up this whole kingdom. What? What? Then we have to stop Longfang. You went wrong there. <laughs> Come on, let's knock some sense back into old Bitey, shall we? You jest, surely. That there ain't just a kingmaker, there's a kingmaker Gondulali, a blessed realm wrecker. Don't be like that, man. Where there's a will, there's a way. He's lost his marbles, ain't it? Which means he can't keep a lid on all that power. And what happens to power he can't keep a lid on? That's right, it comes flying out of you. It does? Where did you learn all this? And the places where it comes flying out are exactly the right places to wallop. Hit him where it hurts, and you're hurting good and proper. Oh, and don't worry about knowing where these special spots are. Thanks to your bond with yours truly, you'll be able to spot them no problem. Yeah! Holy fuck, it's massive! Right, so this is a, a realm wrecker. My god. Okay, so their kingmakers have lost control of their enormous power and, want, and run wild as a result. This power escapes them in bright glowing bursts. Handy. The points from which this energy escapes are particularly vulnerable to attacks so if you focus your assault on them, you'll do a lot more damage. 
Holy shit, I'm a little bit worried. This is a fucking huge boss fight. Cool as shit, though. Right, we've got our auto lock on. I don't see any glowing bits of weakness. Can we use this? Right. Oh, fuck, there's meteors coming crashing down. Hickmakers are mysterious entities that have absorbed the power of Kingmakers, giving them the ability, ability to exploit their weaknesses when enough of them gather together. Wait, Hickmakers? They're born from items into which the Kingmaker has instilled its power, so if you smash up anything a Kingmaker creates, he might just find some. When you have enough... Uh, well, oh, oh god, god, I'm struggling here because I'm so nervous about Longfang. When enough of them have appeared, a gold circle will surround them and they'll beckon over to press A and call on their always impressive assistance. Right, so hit these. Yes, we got a peak maker. Oh my god, he's smashing his paws. But it's a weak paw. Take that. This is going to be a long fight. I don't know if we're safe here or not, but yeah, that fucked him up. Right in your dirty claw. Now go for his head. We can do this. Oh my god, he's we're actually doing really well. He's like a third of the way down. No, a quarter. I don't know my fractions, but I know my damage to fucking... Whatever this is, long fang. <laughs> We're kicking his ass. He's halfway down already. I'm embarrassed for him. A realm wreck of my ass. Oh come on, this is actually a bit too easy. I feel like I'm incredibly over level for this boss fight. But I think I definitely am. Yeah, you gotta step back, guys. Come on, Batsu. You should know better than that. That's boss fights 101. Stay away from the huge dragon. Can we even hurt him from here? Yeah, we can do damage. Right, okay, so he's uh, making the lava sprout up, so don't sit on the lava fountain. Because it will burn. Oh, yes, we've got cannibals firing. That's going to fuck him up fairly, I think. Oh, shit! I want to get some more of the Hick things. That's not, These are my own ones, aren't they? Go, go, go! Oh, what have we done? We've slowed him down! Man. This boss fight is really showing off how awesomely visual the game is. The style is beautiful, there's so much going on. Right, now it's time to knock him out, I think. Yeah, look, he's got a flashy paw again. He's gonna die. Go! Shit, get back, get back. Oh, okay, that's a bad one. Oh, I hope we can still make it. I'm on fire, which is not good. I might use the saw away just to be safe. There we go. Okay, we'll save it for now. Oh shit, was I meant to press A then? I think I was. Okay, get all that beautiful stuff. Hit them rocks down. Over there. Oh wow! <laughs> Very thankful we missed that. Shit, I definitely just ran into the lava again. It's so stupid. But okay, it's time for him to die. I can see he's a uh, bad poor. You got it, you got it. Come on, guys. Batsu, get in there. Stop rolling around. Oh, fuck me. Okay. I've definitely got a bit too uh, overzealous here. And there we go. Everyone else is all right. They won't drop. Of course, it's mental how much damage we've done initially to him. And he's just been living off this last little bit for ages. Oh, there we go. Shit, we keep missing their bit. That's the only bit I really want to activate. Maybe that's what we need to do to win the fight. Okay, go for this poor now. Shit, that's fine. Oh, I think we'll finish him anyway. Yeah, he's done for. That's it, bow your head and die. Oh, fucking Batsu, we got the last hit. Sneaky bastard. But wow, Longfang, here's a piece of piss. <laughs> go back to your bakery. Well, that was an epic boss fight. That was truly our, our first real one, it feels. We've had some other enemies with uh, life gorges, but nothing quite like that. What does that mean for old Pugnasius? This, this here's the square, ain't it? Oh, wait, that's Batu. Whew, we're back. I suppose that means Longfang really has calmed down. For now, at least. Guess we better tie up some loose ends, huh? Do you reckon he remembers nothing of what's happened? Oh. oh no, he does. I have done the unforgivable. My desire to lift my kingdom out of poverty became an all-consuming greed. 
That weakness made me vulnerable and he exploited it. Who was he? The one who stole your king's bond. Oh, right. Okay, so I'm very stupid, I think. But because um, Pugnacious is like the king of Goldpore, his kingmaker was Longfang, right? Okay, so that's what... I, but because he was crazy with power, that's why he went turned into a realm wrecker. I think I'm right, but I might not be. He came to me some months ago. He promised secret knowledge. Knowledge of ways in which our nation might be made yet greater. And in return, he sought high office. It was he who suggested that the dice be manipulated, who gave me the means by which it might be done. When did I fall under his spell? And how? How could I have allowed such a thing to happen? We managed to calm your kingmaker down, but without your king's bond, will you... Uh, will things here be okay? Oh, right, and the Cobra Ninja dude stole a bond between Pugnacious and Longfang, so he can't even control him anymore. You have bought us a little time. We'll sleep a while yet. Okay, so he's quite a lazy Longfang. But in time, he will reawaken. And in the absence of the bond, he will seek to destroy our kingdom once again. But why? Curse his scaly pate. There ain't a jot of rhyme or reason to such wanton savagery. Not now. Shush. That's it. Scratch your bandana. Master Pugnacious, for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your bond... Will you help us? F forgive me, I haven't even introduced myself properly. I'm Evan Pettywhisker of the House of Thildrum. I have formed a pact with the Kingmaker of the Cradle of Light and mean to found a new nation in the Heartlands. Will you stand with me? So that is what I sensed in you. It was plain to me from the first that you were no ordinary child, but what is it that you propose? I want to protect our world. I want to make sure that nobody else has to lose what's most important to them, and I want you to help me. I will do all of that. I, I will do all that I can, of course. You're not so bad, you little pug. I fear that he who stole my king's bond may not be satisfied with mine alone. This being so, we must stand together with our brother nations, or lose all that is most dear to us. With this in mind, I mean to return Nars Forest to him. Indeed, I mean to return all that I stole. Word of my decision has been sent to Nars already, of course. Fuck me, you done that quick? Did you send an email or something? Thank you. Really? Thank you so much, Master Pugnacius. Gold poor will rise again, and its people with it. I wish you good fortune in your quest, friends. Okay, we've formed an ally. Nice. So we got his forest back. Oh, there's a new leaf book post. I reckon someone... Yeah, look. Someone definitely did see <laughs> Longfang. But let's go on here. Oh, he was at the, at the trial. I'm still finding it difficult to accept what I've just seen. A party of outsiders put the Grand High Roller himself on trial, and it turns out they were right. He's been manipulating the dice and deceiving us all. Now I truly do not know what to believe. Have a like. It was incredible. From out of nowhere, Longfang suddenly appeared in the sky. I never thought I'd see a kingmaker in the flesh. He did not stay long, but I'm truly grateful to have witnessed such an event. I mean, he's a great kingmaker. He really puts Lofty to shame, don't he? <laughs> he's badass. I am consumed with shame at having deceived my people. Perhaps it's no longer right that I serve as Grand High Roller. I was going to say that because we just checked Leafbook. The people aren't behind you anymore. Definitely not. Now I know we need to head back to Nile, but I'm tempted to see if we can go into his quarters here. Oh, we can. Can we sit on his big chair? The cushion? We cannot. Okay. We can't sit on the cushion. But it's good to test. Alright, well... That should make Noel very happy. Um, we'll have to fill him in what happened. That uh, Pugnacious no longer has his Kingmaker. And there's a crazy fucking dragon with luscious locks uh, recouping so he can come and destroy this world. But maybe you won't mind that much. Yeah, but why are we even walking here? Why don't we just quick travel? There we go. Okay. Back out again. And it's here. Oh no, not Wiggly Way. The Forest of Nile. Sunny Patch Pond. That's the place. Oh, thank God for quick travel, otherwise we would be in a bit of trouble. By the time we got back to the forest, I would imagine Longfang would be back up and running. But, okay, we've got a piece of sackcloth from nowhere. Lyle, we've got good news and bad news. Which would you like first? Crevins. Your beauties, ye. Your bonny, bonny wee beauties. I've got a mat forest back. <laughs> it's all thanks to yourselves. You can have all the trees you want. Knock yourselves out. Thank Fuck you. Fuck yeah, we've got some beautiful, sweet lumber wood. Thank you very much. Now we can finally start building our kingdom. Oh yeah, kind of forgot about that. 
Wait, Niall. Pugnacious had his king's one stolen by a creepy snake-headed weirdo. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Jinx. Stolen? Jinx? His kingmaker must be tearing the place to pieces. I... I wanted to, to sure. Sure enough. <laughs> but we taught it a little lesson it won't forget. Goldpaw safe, for now. King's one stealing is no mean feat, though. He didn't happen to be infusing things with an awful filthy thug, did he? What the fuck did you just say? An awful filthy thug, what's that? Um, he pulled it out, it looks a bit like a magical spleen. And he turned it into a ball and he just sort of sucked it up. Mm. Yes, a sort of purple aura. Oh, fog. That'll be the horned ones doing then, right enough. It's not the Black Knight, is it? The horned one? The old kingmaker of a place called Allegoria. A nasty piece of work and no mistake. For someone to be using the beastie's powers would have to mean... Wait, so what's he saying here? It's the kingmaker from a place called Allegoria? Aye. I can't see it being anyone but Deloran. He was the king that shared a bond with the creature. Uh -huh. So we just need to go to this Allegoria's place and get the bond back, right? You'll have a job doing that, I'm afraid. Allegoria hasn't existed for... Oh, 2,000 years or more now. It disappeared along with the land on which it stood. Golly. So he's the king of a country which hasn't existed for centuries. Ah. What does that mean? Is he a ghost or something? Whatever he is, I'd say he's looking to pinch people's king's bonds in order to try and bring the horned one back somehow. And if he does that, the whole world will be filled with purple fuck before you can say we're doomed. Wait, hang on. So the Cobra dude, the snake guy, that's the king. And he's trying to get the king's bond to bring back his king maker. Is that right? Hmm. So Pugnacious was right. He'd be trying to steal more king's bonds. Well, what are you looking at me like that for, man? Then we mustn't let him succeed. We can't let him bring back the horned one. We sure can't. If we're going to stop him, we need the strength of an entire kingdom. A kingdom we haven't even started building yet. Then let's get to work, shall we? Ah, time to get building, me hearties. Aye, sounds like a plan right enough. I'll best come with you. You'll be needing my help. What can we use you for? You don't really do much. You sit around and uh, bet your forest away. R really? Speaking of which, things will be getting underway by now, I reckon. Huh? Wait, is the building started already? We didn't give the go ahead. Look. Uh, it smells a smell on the wind. That a progress. Fuck yeah, it's amazing. Dolls got tied or twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> Beautiful, that's so cool. Oh my. Where did all these people come from? I see sky pirates, greenlings, even a few people from Ding Dong Dell. They must all want to be citizens of our amazing new kingdom. That they must, right enough. But how did the swabs even know to come a knocking? <laughs> You've me to thank for that, son. I didn't expect so many to turn up so soon, to be honest. I'll put the word out on the street, you can. And we thank you for getting the old forest back, like. That's more than we could have hoped for. He fucking works quick. We, like, literally t told him that we got the forest back. And in that time, he'd already, uh already sent word over here and got people to recruit. That's crazy. Oh well, fair play, uh, fair play now. I'll think nothing of it. I only ask the teensy winces for favours in return that you make me your Minister of Finance. Minister of Finance? You mean be in charge of all our money? The bloke with a suspicious gambling problem? The bloke who didn't even hesitate to bet away his kingdom? Fuck no, I don't want to <laughs> leave you in charge. I don't mean to be our bank. No offence. I didn't mean to sort of uh, be so harsh with my words there, but I don't think you're good with money. There's none can pinch a penny like I can. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Oh, whatever, you naive sack. So if Niall's the Minister of Finance, I guess that makes Batu the Minister of Defence. <laughs> the swab in charge of fighting, you mean? I like the sound of that a good deal. <laughs> and I guess I can be your advisor. Like a, a vice president, almost. I have a little experience running a country. I'm sure I can help out here and there. No, you'll be my chief consul. Wait, did I say it really weird? Council. I'm no politician, Roland. I should need your help. Well, that's very kind of you, Evan. 
I just, I don't know if I'll be. It's the king's job to appoint his ministers, correct? Then I hereby appoint you chief consul. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then, chief consul it is. By royal appointment. Cool, he takes it seriously, that's good. No problem, happy to see you finally taking the lead. I suppose I am, aren't I? I'm still not sure if I'll be up to the job, but I have to try. And thanks to all of you, I finally feel ready to. I'll try my best, for your sakes, and for mine. Flipman, almost forgot! If we're building a kingdom, we need a proper tidy name, isn't it, to make things official? Like. Hee <laughs> hee! Hee hee hee! I'm a giddy little king, with ears and a tail. I've been doing some thinking about that. Do I get to name it? I've decided to call our kingdom... Piss Flaps. Evermore. Now that works. Well, what do you think? Yeah, Evermore would do. Evermore, huh? I like it. Did you come up with that yourself? Oh, no, it's from an ancient story. The story of a great kingdom whose people were so happy that they wished for it to last forever. Huh. Fitting. Alright, Mr. King, you've named our country. Time to address your adoring citizens. Yar. Okay, off we go. Oi! Listen up, ye magey curs. King Evans got a rousing speech for ya. Pay attention. Hmm. Thank you all. Building our new kingdom won't be easy, but we will build it. <sighs> a beautiful, bountiful kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after. Wow. I want you all to join me on this journey. The road ahead may be a long one, but at the end of it, there is hope. Yeah! Whoa, what happened? What was he saying, Evan? I, I may have nodded off there. Was it good? <laughs> There's King Liwa. That wasn't half bad. Nice speech, Evan. Couldn't have done better myself. This is where it all begins. Here and now, our kingdom. We're with you to the bitter end, lad. Come hell or high water. Thank you, all of you. You're more than welcome, Evan. So the people who had heeded Neil's call and flocked to the heartlands set about building their new nation. And Evermore took its first faltering steps on the road to becoming a kingdom. A kingdom where everyone could live happily ever after. Just as Aranella had wished. Or so they hoped. Oh nice, that was a really cool chat sir. I did enjoy that a lot. That boss fight was awesome. This kid again. What is your deal? How much tea can you drink? For someone with a brand new kingdom, you don't look very happy. Well, I'll tell you I'm not very happy, young boy with tea. Um, because I'm gonna end the episode here. I like to keep these in sort of half hour chunks, no matter where that may fall. Um, just so it's a bit more concise. But I'm I'm really, really happy actually. You see I don't look very happy, I'm actually fine. Um, I think it was a lot of fun this episode. If you enjoyed this let's play of Nino Kuni 2, please go ahead and leave a like. Helps out a great deal and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, here's hoping we can start really building our kingdom and maybe have more awesome boss fights like the one against Longfang. Please go ahead and subscribe, I'll bring that all to you. If you've got any questions you want to raise, like why the fuck are you stopping an episode in the middle of a conversation? Keep it going, don't worry about the time. Leave a comment below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Alright? See you!